Namaste. What's good, everybody? Welcome to the space. And you all wellness out there. <clears throat> Hopefully, this message helps somebody out. Well, let's get into the messages here. There's energies around you that are learning the hard way. Somebody could be gossiping. They really don't have no room to talk or something like that. Somebody's gossiping about someone here. I don't know if it's you or whoever. They probably gossip about a lot of people, right? But it's like a lot of gossip, a lot of chatter about other people when they're hypocrites, okay? Somebody's learning the hard way. Someone's nosy. energy here what's going on here holy spirit yeah tricky yeah somebody's doing something the hard way somebody's in their lower sacral chakra energy like um but not in like a good way like it's not like they breaking through and working on the root issues or root problem trauma or anything it's more like they in this energy <clears throat> that's very low vibrational something that's very low vibrational here person is under underdeveloped emotionally like this person lacks emotional intelligence is what they're saying here this could be somebody you moved on from this could be somebody that um at one point you you dealt with this person but you moved on from them okay yeah somebody's trying to gossip or something like that like they like have no room to talk or something like that I'm getting it. You're an earth angel. I'm talking to an earth angel. You're reachable. You're relatable. There's something about your realness. Your integrity is genuine. Your effort is genuine. Whoever these hypocrites are, they're facing some sort of financial issues, right? Okay. And I feel like, <clears throat> yeah, it's just ultimately like some sort of personality clash they're saying here. Because people see you in a storybook ending. You got out the five of wands to the ten of cups. People see you like living out your dream, living out your life in fulfillment. So there's a lot of hypocrites that talk a lot of shit about your life, not knowing all of the work that you've done to get to where you are, right? They the hypocrite. They the charlatan. They the fake. That's what it is. Personality clashes with fake ass people that like to gossip, that like to be nosy. They're doing shit the hard way. They don't got no fucking room to talk. And all of the shit that they talking about you is actually giving them some sort of financial issues. They, these type of people that got, yeah, to look at Ten of Pentacles came out. Yeah, family legacy. So somebody can be working on your, you. I feel like you working on your family legacy. Like you working on like building up yourself. Um, you could be dealing with a lot of trauma. You could be breaking through this trauma. And I feel like that's what's bringing you closer to your Ten of Pentacles. You know, your abundance, the things that you um, are promised when you work on yourself. It's guaranteed that if you work on yourself and you atone yourself to a certain frequency, a certain, you know, um, degree that it's, it's going to pay off, right? And somebody doesn't like that the fact that you go after what it is that you desire. And sometimes pressure makes you the best person that you are. Like, you know, somebody doesn't like the fact that they're going through all of this pressure in life, right? And so they sabotage their their life, you know what I'm saying? And, and blame their life, you know? They're always a victim in the situation, you know? Never the victor, 
right? Somebody feels helpless. That's what it really is. What it boiled down to the point, the personality clash. See, you the type of person that you are gonna take pressure and it's gonna turn you into a diamond. Any type of person that's pressure is gonna affect them greatly and it's gonna damn near destroy them, right? So that's definitely a big personality clash that you having with people that's gossiping about you or someone, all right? <clears throat> people that you've moved on from. So they could have been gossiping about you at this point, you know what I'm saying? All because you moved on, you know? So it's like, well, when people ask them, well, what happened to so-and-so? You know, so then they get into this gossip, telling these lies, knowing they don't got no fucking room to talk, you know what I'm saying, type shit. Yeah. Page of Wands. These are the type of people that don't have no type of fucking confidence. We got Aries Leo Sage out here, Page of Wands. <coughs> <coughs> they don't have a spine at all, you know. These type of people, they don't have no spine. They attracted to lower level frequency. These are the type of people that, you know, they do anything for money. Wow, so you got out here the two of cups. These are the type of people too that when they see you in love and connections and getting and receiving a lot of love, you know, um, they be hating. Because they not receiving that. Yeah, you got the three of swords. So, so, somebody, I'm telling you in reverse. I feel like, you know, you're overcoming something here. And it didn't take the pressure for you to... Or whatever was going on, it didn't take you long to get out of something. Like, you just didn't stay there. You moved on. Your ability to move on is like, your resilience is like powerful or something like that. Like, that's everything. Because if you give up, then you you lose. <laughs> you fucking lose, okay? And... You could have been dealing with people that was too stuck in a sorrow to overcome something here, okay? Because like I said, ultimately, they problem and why y'all personalities clash is because they lack confidence. Confidence isn't, oh, I'm, I'm confident. That's not confidence. You know what I'm saying? It's like an inner thing. Yeah, here we got the magician. Somebody sees you as very resourceful, like your life is going good too. With the ten of uh, pentacles here, they're saying something about they they don't support you because you're doing better than them. They don't support you because you're doing better than them. And that's why you're so resourceful because you don't have that same type of energy like you show love. You know what I'm saying? Like for real. You ain't no hating ass motherfucking person. Like that's just not in your resume. That's, you know what I'm saying? Not your color. <laughs> Doesn't look good on you. You know what I'm saying? Like shit like that. Like people just be, yeah, that's what I'm getting. Yeah, high priestess. Overall energy is in the high priestess. I'm telling you, like, it's like someone can never, like, get on your level or someone can never, like, equate to your tenacity, your viciousness, your drive. And so with that, it makes people less confident when you enter a room or when you're around. And then... When you end up leaving these people or moving on or no longer connected or associating with them, they feel the gap. You know, they feel the, the silence. They feel the stares. They feel, you know, um, the chatter, right? Because when you constantly gossiping about other people, then, well, that comes back on you. So now you they got other people gossiping on them where they thought they were talking shit about you. Now... All of the conversation is about them, right? And all of their negative shit that they going through, right? So they making themselves look bad out here in these streets. That's how I feel. 
I feel like you're somebody who's reachable, who's teachable, who tries, who gives life and effort, you know, to like be a better person. And it shows to whoever these people that's haters, okay, these people that you got personality clashes with, you know. With this Three of Swords and this Two of Cups next to each other, this is talking about a connection coming together, like a divine connection, seriously. A really loving exchange between two people, okay? And I really see that that's something that could be happening, like, for some of you guys at some point, okay? A connection here. I'm also getting with this um, Two of Cups um, to the Three of Swords that this is just you overcoming some sort of difficulty or um challenge right in your life and a lot of people i'm always saying this shit a lot of people the things that you have gone through if they had gone through it it would destroy them you see what i'm saying and then you end up coming out on top of something people look at your life ten of cups storybook ending like you get everything that you want that you desire. Like you just got it so fucking easy, right? You just don't go through anything, right? You know? Um, and maybe you don't. To the degree, to the capacity, because you don't you don't let life affect you in that way. Like I get that. Like somebody's get, their superpowers are becoming stronger, you know? Or something like that. I'm picking that up as well. You know, and I feel like you have this ability to attract um, whatever it is that you desire because of your reachability, because of your willingness. OK, you could be dealing with a lot of energies from the past that were very unwilling. You know, to take a look at themselves and see what what could they change, what could they make better? You know, a lot of times that's why people fail to be better or do anything better because they constantly doing the same shit you know and I feel like you a person that you're you're used to change you're used to sh things being shaken up in your environment and pressure you know and so you deal very well in that environment not that you want to be in that environment you know or that space you know all the time but that's actually where you thrive. That's actually where you do the best, your best work, you know, and you're fucking amazing. And being that fucking amazing, you know, you're going to have personality clashes with certain people because you're just fucking amazing. Duh. You know what I'm saying? And everybody is not important and everybody is not amazing. Right. Right. We can't all be this amazing, right? We can't all be this, you know? And I feel like a lot of people feel that when, you know, when you come around, like they're intimidated by what you bring. So not only is it that you're doing better than other people, but you show people who actually may have more than you in this world on a physical level in this moment, as I'm giving you this message, right? Right that may have more than you, you show them what life is really all about. And people in these last seven to 12 years, we've been realizing that it's not all about the money. You know, people are awakening to a new understanding. They're awakening to their purpose. They're awakening to healing. They're awakening to truth. Okay. This is the age of Aquarius. So this is what it's all about. So this shift in this shift that's happening is happening for the collective, for all of us. So we're not just, oh, the people who get the messages. This is happening for all of us, you know, whether they receive the message or not, you know. Um, and with this breakthrough, right, this shift, I feel like it's giving you a breakthrough, you know. That's what I was trying to say. This shift is giving you a breakthrough. You know, um, some of you guys, this is very much to do with love. And some of you guys, 
this is very much to do with your finances and your legacy and having more than you've ever had before in your life. Like, seriously. And this is because of all of the hard work you've put in to develop yourself up until this point. You know, everybody thought it was about, you know, um, all of these superficial things, right? And it turns out, right, it's all about the, the inner work, you know, the, the self, right? Because if you're not no good for nobody else, how could you be good for anyone else, right? And so you've been doing so much work on yourself that now something's paying off when it comes to, you know, your future, your goals, the things that you aspire to, what you want to create, what you want to manifest, these thoughts that you've been trying to manifest with the divine now you're in in perfect alignment to all of those things you know and again that is the storybook ending because that is your overall mission you know to get the life that you desire and to have that you know and to keep that and to make that prosperous right isn't that what we all want right and so i feel like yeah you know that is the gossip because it's like you doing the things that everyone wants to do. That puts you ahead of a lot of people who were tricking people and deceiving people with this life of, with these lies of, it's, it's just about having fun, this YOLO thing, doing drugs, you know, like not giving a fuck about yourself, Right? That, that big lie, it's like we're all facing it, right? Because life's not about that, right? A lot of us are growing up, we're maturing. And this didn't happen early in life. You know, some of us are getting older and it's just now hitting us. We're just now getting this awakening, this good ass fucking energy, you know? A lot of times earlier in life, we didn't know what was going on. And so that's the resilience. That's the thing. You didn't have to know everything. That's what the hate is because none of us knew, you know, but because you were willing to do some sort of work and develop yourself, you've been working with your spirit guides, you've been working with your angels, they giving you the messages, they giving you the downloads, right? You get the synchronicities, everything's lining up, right? So the information that's coming in is helping you to shift and make a complete breakthrough, right? Right in front of everybody's eyes because we all see what each other do. We know each other, right? You know what I'm saying? You know your community. You know who you're dealing with, right? And so we, we all can feel it, you know, this shift and who's confident in the shift and who's not. And we know why they're not confident. It's because they haven't done any inner work, you know? So they have to project. They have to gossip. They have to try to demean. They have to. This is all a deflection. When they have no fucking room to talk, right? They're just learning the hard way. You know, I feel like you're somebody who. You stop trying to learn the hard way. Like you stop being hard headed. You've had your moments, you know, because we all do. How do you learn? You know, we all have those moments where, shit, I wish I didn't do that so many times to learn the lesson, right? The fuck? Okay. But I feel like you've got, you've come away from, so far from that and you're showing other people through your actions, through your life, you know, that, that that's possible, you know, because these people who are learning the hard with these hypocrites, they really don't get it. Like they, they just don't get it, you know? And maybe they'll never get it, right? But I feel like your life is like a testament to when you finally get it right, you know? The self-improvement journey. And I feel like you'll always be on that journey, you know what I'm saying? Being real with you, you know? Each day you'll always want to get up and be a better person. And that's what makes you top tier. That's what makes you the creme de la creme, you know? And so I feel like it's it's like, that's yeah, this is what I'm getting. Like, it's supposed to be like that. Like, I don't, I don't know, you know? There's definitely a love option for some of you guys. Money's increasing. Everything's going up for you. You're really standing in your power. You've called back your power, you know? And there's a lot of hate and chatter around 
these recent developments that you've been making over these last few years. And believe it or not, whether you've been giving yourself enough credit, a, a good pat on the back, you know, because you should be, you know, um, this is what people are experiencing when they're, they're, they're coming up against, you know, coming around you and, you know, in your energy and things with people that know you. Okay, this is what they're experiencing. Look at this. Keys on the ring. You're going to have a lot of decisions. Okay. Tell me more here, Holy Spirit. Final messages here. Yeah, so we got kissing, unconditionally loving someone, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. So, yeah, that's a loving exchange here that I was talking about. Yeah, Two of Cups talks about this twin flame here. Okay. Welcoming love, meeting the one. Okay. So this is what I'm seeing for this Two of Cups energy here. Okay, final messages. Anything else? Anything else here? Okay, and then we also have clarity, truth, revelation. Yeah, that's the truth. Right now, a lot of people are realizing, they're seeing clearly like what's going on. The truth is being revealed. That's what I said, the age of Aquarius. That's what this is. This big re uh, revelation and there's a lot of solidarity amongst those of us that are awakening that are true to this shit. Not, you know what I'm saying? Like, this isn't a gimmick. This is not like we're, we're not playing with this shit. Like, this is really our time, you know? And I feel like you have a lot of protection and power around you here, okay? Also what the sword and the rose represents, okay? Wow. And you got out the Phoenix. New phase. Wow. Somebody could be rekindling with this two of cups. This phase right now represents transformation growth. Okay. For us here with the Phoenix. Wow. Bottom of the deck energy. Look at this. Watching, looking, stalking, gaslight, per gaslighting, per perception, focusing out. Didn't I tell you? That's these energies that you have this personality clash with. You see what I'm saying? They're too busy looking out instead of being nosy, gossiping, all this old fucking negative shit that ain't going to get them nowhere, okay? Ain't got them nowhere before, ain't getting them nowhere now, you know? So while the party was fun, you know what I'm saying? Like, what are you going to do now? You know, that's what that's like. It's like what everybody's kind of realizing, like, OK, well, I partied all that time and then or I was asleep all that time. And then now I'm awake. And, and so now what do I do? Right. And so everybody's in this this mode, this rat race kind of like, and, you know, but it's creating. I feel like this shift is creating a lot of solidarity because the real one's gone. You know, what I'm saying real recognize real. So I feel like you will attract. The real people that you need in your life, you know, you'll you'll always have that, you know. I feel like those unions are protected also with the two of cups being here and the sword in the rose. You know, your your divine counterpart is protected. You're protected, okay. Um, but yeah, you're going to a new phase of your life, okay. Real shit, okay. Is what I'm getting for this reading. Let me know how this one resonated with you beautiful souls down below. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.